All right, well, welcome to Strong and Balanced. My name is Pat Agostino. I'm a physical therapist here with PeopleFit. Uh, today, we're gonna do some balance-related exercises. We'll probably spend a few minutes at the end of the session on the floor, maybe the last eight to 10 minutes, um, or in bed, or you can say goodbye at that point if uh, that's not in the works for you. Um, but let's get started with a nice little warm up. We're going to do some gentle neck circles in one direction. And we're going to go in the opposite direction. If you have not done these types of exercises before, I always ask you to speak with your physician or physical therapist prior to beginning any new exercise routine. Great. And some arm circles. Just a reminder with the cooler weather coming, if you're prone to kind of upper neck and back strains, it's a good time for you to pull up those scarves. I know it seems a little early. And let's go backwards. In the past couple of weeks, I've seen a rash of people complaining of those. And I know that their shoulders are just elevated a lot during the day, either from being at the computer or from being a little bit chilly. So our massage therapists have been very busy. Good, and let's go back and forth. Good, and let's step back with one foot if you like, and then the opposite. Good. In five, four, three, two, and one. Let's do some marching in place. Think about landing on your forefoot as you're doing this. You're not stomping with your heels. We're making this a core exercise, belly buttons tight. Good, same thing for when you're doing your swings. So feet a little wider this time, stick your bottom out, belly button's tight, and you're gonna control your back with a little bit of arm swings. Great. Feet about hips width apart, knees are soft. Let's come back on your heels and up on your toes. Heels and grab the ground with your toes. That's one of the, uh, I guess one of the positive things that has come out of this COVID is we were able to hire two new massage therapists, two female massage therapists with a lot of experience that most likely we wouldn't have had the opportunity to hire if it wasn't for uh, the turmoil in the job market. Um, but they've been doing great. So anyone looking for massage, they, they, we still have some availability. Five, four, three, two, and one. Arm out to the side, hand on your hip. Start with your feet almost together. Slide your foot back just an inch or two, and then just come out to the side. Hands on your hip to keep that hip down. So you're just drawing that leg out. Slow and controlled. If you can do it without bringing the foot back down to the ground, fantastic. Toe should be pointed straight ahead. In five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go to the other side. Soft knee, slide your foot back, and let's come out to the side. Good, and eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, 
And one, let's get into one of three balance positions. Feet together, heel to the inside of your big toe, or one foot in front of the other. Bring your thumbs up. Let's look at one thumbnail and the other thumbnail. If that bothers your neck to rotate that much, just bring your hands forward just an inch or two. You start to lose your balance and you need to step. I want you to stop, re-bend re your knees, pull that belly button in tight, and then restart. And three, two, and one. Great. If you had your feet staggered, please uh, switch to the opposite side. And let's rotate back and forth. In four, three, two, and one. Fantastic. So from here, that's all we're going to do is bring, you know what, let's do this. Let's step forward with one foot and bend those knees, okay? And let's bring your arms out. Let's just start to loosen up those hips. So again, your hip is going to go out with the opposite arm that's going down. You're just flying the airplane. Good. Right. <clears throat> Good. And then now fast for five last ones. Good. In three, two, and one. And let's switch to the other side. Same exact thing. Just see how far out you're comfortable sticking your hip. And that's what this is what it's about. It's about getting your hip out to the side. And the back foot, the hip of the back foot is always going to go further than the front foot, just to let you know. You shouldn't feel like it's symmetrical. Good. And five quick ones. Good. All right. Let's come on back up. Let's get back into a hips width position for your feet. Um, let's reach out to the side. If you're near a counter or a wall or something, it'll, it'll make you feel a little bit more safe. Like, hey, I can reach way over to that side because I want you to feel pressure on the outside of your foot. Good. And then we're just going to start to gently touch your calf and then your toe to the floor. Heel to your calf, toe to the floor. Good. In, in, in the whole object of this is to keep your head and your shoulders over your foot. That allows you to balance. If I'm over here, every time I pick up my foot, I'm going to fall over. So what I need to do is just keep myself that way. And if you want to add in the hands, it's out with the arms, together with the hands. Everything goes out, everything comes together. Good. And out and back. Good. You can do it without quite touching the foot back down to the ground, and you are doing fantastic today. Good. Great for five. Four, and if you notice that plant leg is getting tired, three, two, and one. Good. These exercises are primarily for this leg that's on the ground, even though you're moving this guy. Let's reach over to the other side, arm out to the side, and on your hip. Let's go calf and toe, calf and toe. Okay, or if you'd like to add in everything out, everything in. Out, 
and in. Good. <clears throat> Perfect. Stretch that arm up if you can, if it doesn't bother your shoulder. Good. But controlling yourself with your core. Belly buttons in as you're going out. Good posture for five. I don't want any points deducted for four posture. Three, two, and one. Very nice job. Let's shake those legs right out for me. Right. Hands on your hips. Let's tap your back toe forward. Really get a good knee bend here. Use this glute muscle to hold you up as you kick up and down. You notice this back leg, the knee is behind the front, me. That's how you know it's behind, yes. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's switch to the other side. And let's kick on up and down. <clears throat> In eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great, let's shake those legs right on out for me. So we're gonna do a little bit of a uh, walk. So you need about three or four feet of space if you need to meet, be near a, um, a countertop or something, that's fine. And that's all we're gonna start with is your heel to the inside of your big toe. If your balance is feeling great today, you can scoot that foot directly in front of the other. And we're gonna do a nice step forward and then just pause for a moment. And then step forward and pause for a minute. And two more steps forward and forward, okay? So let's try going back now and back and back and one more step back. And let's go forward again, forward, and forward, and back, back, and back, and let's go forward again, and forward, and forward, and back, back, and back. Very nice job. Let's stretch out your hip flexors as well as your calves. We're gonna do that by taking a nice long step forward with one foot, pulling your belly button in tight, and let's see if we can bend that front knee to get a little stretch in this back hip as well as your calf. And nice easy breaths as you ease that knee to bend a little further. Remember, belly button's tight. It's almost as if you're sticking your hips underneath you. You're really trying to get your pelvis to tilt backwards. <clears throat> Most of you are saying, I didn't know I could tilt my pelvis backwards. It's a good party trick. You learn it, you can show it to your friends. All right, let's switch to the other side. Good, belly button in tight. Let's bend that front knee forward. In 15 more seconds. Good. 
Great. And then come on back up. So we're going to go back into your heel to toe position or whatever position you were comfortable with. If feet together is fine. Knees are going to be soft. You're going to bring your hands up, clasp your hands together, thumbs are up. And I now want you to look at your left thumbnail as you rotate side to side. Okay. Keep your eyes locked on that left thumbnail. So if you're finding during this exercise that your feet aren't wiggling, you, it's not much of a challenge, get your feet closer to each other or lift up your front foot as you're doing this, okay? If you're finding that you're stepping all the time, bring your feet an inch wider, okay? But you can try it with your front foot off the ground, looking at that left thumbnail for three, two, and one. Great, if you had your feet staggered, let's switch to the other side. And now we're gonna look at your right thumbnail doing the same exact thing. <clears throat> Five more. In three, two, and one. Excellent. Okay. So I think we're going to get down onto the floor or into bed. You can grab a glass of water. If this is your time to say goodbye, I say goodbye. I hope you have a good Wednesday. If you have a, a band that you use during these exercises, you can grab that also. Ava, you asked me a good question earlier if my kids are going to be home for Thanksgiving. And now I'm quite excited. If they do come home, maybe they'll help me uh, break my leaves. Now, now I'm excited. All right. Let's start off on your back. Um, and we're going to do a uh, straight leg raise, 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 starting with, with, okay, okay. So, so, knees are bent. Let's extend one leg out. Belly button is tight. Remember, this is all about controlling your core. So, belly button is tight. And we're going to raise one leg up and down. Toes are pointing up, but ankles nice and relaxed. Up and down, making sure that we're not arching the back as we come up and down. For five, four. Three, just barely touch the heel to the ground. I don't want you to get a uh, rest. Two, and one. Now, with up, we're going to do the same leg with our toes slightly out this time, okay? And we're going to come up and down again with your toes slightly out. And I know that those hip muscles are probably getting a little tired. You can't do all the repetitions. That's fine. If it bothers your knees, you can unlock your knee by bending it just a little bit. For five, four, three, two, and one. Great. Let's switch to the other side. Toes straight up, opposite knee bent. Let's raise that leg up and down, up and down. Great, no higher than the height of your opposite knee and just gently touch down towards the ground. If you swing your leg way up, you're actually gonna give yourself a break and no breaks are uh, required for this exercise. Good, you may think differently, but that's how the way I feel. In three, two, 
One, let's switch the toe slightly out. That means you're rolling the whole leg out and let's come on up and down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great. If you have lower back problems, we're just going to work on some pelvic tilts now. So knees are bent. You're going to push your lower back flat into the floor. Now, when you're pushing your lower back into the floor, you should be able to wiggle your knees, okay? That, that ensures that you're using your abdominal muscles and not your hips to do this exercise. If you don't have either of those things, you can either do a bridge or today we're just gonna try crossing your ankle over your knee, allowing this leg to come out to the side and then doing a bridge. I kind of like doing this once in a while because you even get a stretch in this hip as you're coming up and down. So either a pelvic tilt, a two-legged bridge or a one-legged bridge. Put your, hands on the, put your hands on the front of your hips. They should be at the same height. In other words, you shouldn't be dropping a hip down. So let's keep both hips up and then come back down. We're gonna come up or do a pelvic tilt for one, two, three, four, five, and down. Come on back up. One, two, three, four, five, and down. We have three more. Come on up. One, two, three, four, five, and down. Two more. One, two, three, four, five, and down. Last one. One, two, three, four, five, and down. Let's switch to the other side. Or if you're doing your pelvic tilts, we're gonna to continue to do your tilts. Lift up, two, three, four, five, and down. We have five more. Lift up, and four more. Lift up, and down. Three more. Lift up. And down, two more, you guys are doing great. And down, last one, come on up. And come on back down. Let's straighten out your right leg, left leg. Let's pull your knee towards your chest by either grabbing behind the knee, or if you don't have knee problems, you can grab on top of the knee. You have a hip replacement, just be nice and gentle with this one or avoid it if you know you shouldn't be doing it. We're just gonna get a little stretch by pulling that knee up towards your chest. Okay, let's switch to the other side. Okay, I'm gonna give you an option for two abdominal exercises you're doing right now. You can either bring your knees and your hips bent up at 90 degrees. And if that's enough to work those abdominals without irritating your back, fantastic. If you feel like you can push a little bit to give yourself a little resistance, that's fine. So that's one option. The second option is to see if you can do a little bit of cycling here, okay? I want your head and shoulders slightly up. If you need a little hand support for your head, that's fine. But you can do a little bit of bicycling in this area and that's gonna work your abdominals too, okay? Or let's push and relax. Push and relax. Let's do five more. Or you can do a little bit of cycling up in the air. Good. It's a beautiful time of year to be cycling anyway. You can see all the foliage, it's so nice. Good. 
and five more, four, three, two, and one. Excellent work, excellent work. Let's, um, let's do some of your clamshells. If you have a band, let's get that band up around your knees. We're gonna start off in a sideline position with your hands on your hips. I'm sorry, your hand on your top hip. Your knees are bent, your hip is flexed a little bit, your feet are together, and you're gonna open and close that clamshell. Open and close your knee. If it doesn't bother your shoulder, keep that hand right on top of your hip because I don't want that hand, that hip moving, okay? And you're opening and closing for five, four, Three, two, and one. Great, you can straighten out your legs. I want you to bend your bottom knee foot back just to provide you with some support. And let's come up and down with the top leg. Toes are pointing straight ahead. If you're finding that you're getting stronger and this band is not enough for you, a lot of times I'll jump right on, um, Amazon and just purchase a package of Synergy bands. You can always email me if you have any questions about where to order them, but there's different resistances in two and one. Good, let's go toes down right in front of you. So your kneecap is facing the ground in front of you and we're gonna raise your heel up towards the ceiling, coming up and down for eight. Keep that leg straight, seven. Yes, and you'll feel it back in here. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice job. Let's roll over onto the other side. And we'll start back with our clamshells again. Open and close, open and close. Very nice job. Let's keep on going, hands on the hip. You're not rolling that hip back. For five, four, three, two, one. Knees are straight. Bend the bottom foot back a little bit and let's do a straight leg raise to the side. Good. Bringing that leg up and down, toes are pointing straight ahead for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's point your toe down in front of you, kneecaps pointing down towards the floor, and let's raise that leg up and down for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great. If you have a band on you right now, I'm going to have you take it off. We're going to lay right on your back. Knees are bent. Soles of your shoes are together. We're going to let the knees fall out to the side. And then you're just gonna take your hands and place them on your thighs, just to push down just a little bit to get a nice stretch of those groin muscles, those adductor muscles in the middle. And I want you to start taking some nice deep breaths and just relax into this stretch, allowing the knees to fall to the side. And with that, I'm going to leave you in a state of contemplation. So I hope you guys have a great day and uh, thank you for joining me this morning. Goodbye.